R. Ask Reddit, asks, what are your computer tips and tricks that not everybody might know about? If you don't bring your work laptop home, your life becomes hugely better. If you don't set up your work email in your phone too. Exclamation mark. If I don't bring my laptop home then I can't work remotely from home tomorrow. There's a teacher at my school that fucking eats on his work laptop. I got it for a repair a while back and couldn't work on it until I found gloves. Control plus Windows key plus Donley works for W10 this will create a new desktop. You can switch between desktops using Control plus Windows key plus right, left arrow grabbing a program and shaking it will minimize every other program. Shaking it again will maximize them back up. Edit. To close those extra desktops you just made. Control plus Windows key plus F4. It'll move any programs you have open. Based off of the group of people I work with. Control C and Control V are goddamn arcane secrets. Edit. Had a friend who didn't know what the shift key was for. Pressed caps lock before and after every capital letter. Had a different friend who didn't know what the tab key was for. Just pressed space four times, and they were not a programmer, this was in essays and shit. If you forget what your password is, but it's odd saved as, right click on the asterisks. Select, inspect, and in the HTML, change the bit that says, type equals password, to type equals text. Now you can see what the autosaved password is. Edit. Spelling in HTML not JavaScript. Hunter 2. Minor nitpick. It's the HTML markup, not the JavaScript. Edit. Indeed it is the DOM based on the HTML. Not HTML markup since the M in HTML is markup. The Windows key plus one of the arrow keys will move the currently active window. Depending which arrow you press. Left. Fills the left half of the screen right. Fills the right half of the screen up maximizes down returns window to original size if maximized or otherwise minimizes you can also do this to fling your windows to your secondary tertiary monitors hold the windows key with left hand mash all arrows with right you are now a hacker if someone from ms support calls you on your home phone out of the blue and asks to remote in don't be like my mom and log in hang the fuck up Deleted. Ah the only time people thought I was a hacker. Many years ago there was a SCV host SP virus that would trigger the automatic turn off. This timer would display and people would have one minute to save their shit and have the computer turn off. I found out about the shutdown a and got non-physical blowjobs from everyone. For those who have to lock your computer when you're away from it because of work or whatever. Win plus L is way faster than going through the start menu. I taught this to my coworkers, most are at least 15 to 20 years older than me, and now I regret it because they come to me with every little computer problem. Once people find out you're the computer guy at work you'll be roped into every little problem. I really wouldn't mind, except that I don't have admin privileges and 90% of what I could fix. I can't because I'm locked out. Instead I have to spend an hour on the phone waiting for remote IT to right-click something for me. F2 renames a file edit. Glad I helped all y'all. But, also bonus tip from a few helpful replies from Redditors, tab jumps to the next file to be renamed and shift plus tab to rename the previous file in the list. Edited it. Also learned a bunch of Excel. This truly is a giving thread happy holidays you're free. F2 renames a lot of things. For example in Excel when you have a cell selected and just start typing. You only get the new text you just started typing. If you press F2 you enter the cell with the whole contents highlighted so you can edit the existing content instead of putting new content in. Control plus shift plus ask. To open the task manager. Sweet Jesus. No need to control alt delicious first? Exclamation mark. And you only two fingers of the same hand. W A A A A Y easier. It's a little different. Control Shift ESC is a request. If your computer is stalling, it'll bring it up when it can. Control Alt Dell is an interrupt. And will force it to your will unless something is really wrong. 
when downloading something turn the monitor on its side and gravity will make the progress bar move quicker. I like to place the cursor on the edge of the progress bar and check every once in a while to see if it has bypassed it. Do people not know this? It's like if you're having unprotected sex just have the girl get on top. She can't get pregnant cuz. You know. Gravity. Ah, shitty life pro tips. Windows plus W lets you take a screenshot and crop, draw on it. And either copy it to your clipboard or save it as a PNG. While we're at screenshots, Alt Print takes a screenshot of the active window only. Built-in snipping tool on Windows 10 is very useful. It's basic but also can do a delayed screenshot. Windows plus WSO close to control plus W might accidentally close a window. That Google has more answers than I do mom. Hi Google can you please tell me how much sugar is in a batch of chocolate chip cookies thank you. I agree with this Yuri is love. If you turn the computer off and back on again, it will often fix your problem if it's not too serious. Trust me. Please. Stop asking me to fix your goddamn computer Charles. It's not fucking broken. If you read the error message 9 tenths it will explain what is wrong. Hash notijated IT guy honest. Error. Something went wrong. If you want to output to a second monitor, Win plus P will give you a list of ways to output. Disable second monitor duplicate first to second extend disable first monitor you can switch between those by maintaining the win key and pressing P at each switch. Release win and it will be applied. For YouTube, pressing K will pause the video and F will full screen your video. Arrow keys to increase or decrease volume. Pressing F6 will highlight URL or you could press Ctrl plus L to do the same. Alt plus print screen to copy current screen windows key plus print screen to copy and save to file for the life of me I have never used pause break on my keyboard. If you're on Excel and you need to do an absolute cell reference, rather than manually typing the dollar signs in for example dollar one Australian dollar, you can just press F4, that'll cycle you between A1. Dollar one Australian dollar, one Australian dollar and one Australian dollar accordingly. Also, index match is far superior to VLOOKUP once you take 10 minutes to get used to it. And don't let any fool tell you different. Closing parenthesis dot. Type the error message into Google. Literally my entire career. Learning from those who came before FTFY. Control plus enter will fill in the www and dot com when typing in just the name of a URL. Shift for netctrl plus shift for dot org. Stopped doing this when I realized I could type dot com much faster than pressing control plus return. Use Clonezilla to duplicate a clean install. It takes much time to build your own environment in you. And often we keep a sluggy PC because of the trouble of having to reinstall everything. So after a clean install, which may take half a day or more, I clone the hard drive with Clonezilla and when the system kicks the bucket you can have your system back in few minutes by copying back the hard drive with everything. Operating system, useful software, playlists, preferences and folders of files. Yes. This is a great, if you think about all of the hours of time that it takes to install all of your desktop applications and get everything set when you get a new PC. You can download a host file and put it in top. Windows, System32, Drivers, Ectoplace the original file, its empty, blocks, advertisement IPS and such from, working. I don't even see ads in Skype. Add links on Google etc. Might not work though, which can be annoying if you like ads. URL redacted, found this from a post over on R Windows a year or so ago. Change your default passwords for your routers. Make sure you're using WPA2K. Disable unused ports. And try not to use well-known ports unless you have to. Do not sacrifice security for convenience. Ensure you have a security measure in place at every level. Defense in depth. People. You should probably give some more information out for those who don't know, understand technology. 
but to elaborate on your point. Always use a space in your passwords if possible. Do not sacrifice security for convenience. Do not trade liberty for security. I'm always surprised how little people use keyboard shortcuts. I die a little inside every time I have to watch people right-click, copy, right-click, paste, exclamation mark. I know plenty of toll people who use keyboard shortcuts as well. Control plus C equals copy control plus V equals paste control plus P equals print control plus W equals close tab alt plus F4 equals close window just a few off the top of my head. I agree completely lol edit I forgot about the most important one control plus shift plus N equals incognito winking face, winking face. Hashtag Chrome shortcuts. Control plus shift plus T. Open last tab that you accidentally closed CTRL plus W. Close the last tab you just opened trying Ctrl plus Shift plus T C T R L plus tab. Next TAB C T R L plus Shift plus tab. Previous TAB C T R L plus N. New window C T R L plus T. New TAB C T R L plus Shift plus N. You know what this is. F5. Reload CTRL plus Shift plus R. Reload and wipe cache for that site. F6. Select address bar and everything in it. F3. Control plus F. Find F11. Full screen F12. Inspect element hashtag Windows shortcuts. Win plus E. Explorer window CTRL plus Shift plus N in Explorer generates a new folder where you are at. Highlighting the rename area so you can directly type folder name. Alt plus tab. Go back to previous focused window. Alt plus shift plus tab. Go forward focused window. Shit explanation. Just try it. Win plus M. Minimize everything. Win plus L. Lock PC. Win plus arrows. Move windows around. Win plus up can maximize a window. Windows 10 has four quadrants per monitor for hotkeying windows around. Windows 7 and 8 have two. Control plus Shift plus ESC. Task Manager without Control Alt Del. Control plus ALT plus DEL. The fuck 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 shortcut. You can restart your computer from where. F2 when selecting a file opens the rename prompt. Hashtag text editor shortcuts. Control plus S. Save. Control plus A. Highlight everything. Control plus D. Clone focus text row in Notepad++. In Atom. It highlights the word. In Gedit. It deletes the row. Control plus Shift plus arrows. Highlight text by word or row. General advice. Use your keyboard more than your mouse whenever you can. You look smarter and it's sometimes faster. Keep at least one command prompt open on your PC at all times. Especially if you work with computers. If you have a bat file that repeats backquote tree backquote you can look like a hacker. URL redacted, and CMD backquote ping backquote can check if the site is down for just you or everyone. Pretty useful. Someone asking stupid questions. URL redacted, and putting the question in is very cheeky. If you push down to click the wheel in between the two click buttons it opens a link in a new page. Doing this on a Chrome tab closes the tab. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel, and above all, have an excellent day you incredible people.